Welcome back to Arts and Crafts, everybody. And remember, it's not Arts and Crafts, it's Arts and Crafts with Justin. Let me introduce my panel over here. We have Jacob, we have Caitlin, we have our friend Bear, and we have Caleb. Everybody say hi! Hi! Good. Can you guys say hi back to them? Great. Are you guys ready for some arts and crafts? Yeah! I can't hear you. Say it louder. Yeah! Great, everyone. We have something very, very special and exciting for you today. So let's get started right away. Do you guys know what this is? What are we making today? What was that? Bronze Serpent Race! Great guys, we're making a Bronze Serpent Race. You see our Bronze Serpent on the pole right here? Wow, so cool, right? But this is even cooler. When you pull it, the Bronze Serpent comes onto the pole. Wow. Who can put their Bronze Serpent on the pole first? That's why we call it a race, everyone. It's called a Bronze Serpent Race. Everybody say that. Bronze Serpent Race. Great, great everyone. All right guys, we have our materials right here. Let me read them out to you. First, we need some toilet paper rolls. Ew, stinky toilet paper. No, these are clean toilet paper rolls, okay? Three toilet paper rolls. Normally they go into the trash. Not today, we're gonna use these toilet paper rolls. and. We have a paper towel roll too. If you don't have a paper towel roll, don't worry, I just taped two toilet paper rolls together. Alright everyone, next we need a cup. A paper cup. We're not drinking out of it, okay? It's your paper cup. And next we need some scissors. Snip, snip. Very careful with the scissors. Very careful. Okay, next we need some kind of skewer. You can use a toothpick, it's like this big, but you can just need something a little sharp because you're gonna poke a hole into your toilet paper. Okay, everyone, next we need a popsicle stick. Yes, a popsicle stick, okay, everyone? Popsicle stick. And next we need a long piece of string, okay? Doesn't matter how long, but ask your parents to cut it for you if you don't have string, okay? Long piece of string, okay? And you need some markers to color in your brass serpent or your fiery serpents, okay? We need some markers, we need some brown, we need some red, okay? And we need tape, sticky, sticky tape, okay? And we need some eyes for our serpent, right? You see he has beautiful eyes right here. Yeah. So we have some googly eyes for our serpent and we have one piece of white paper and one piece of brown paper. It doesn't matter what kind of brown, light brown, dark brown, we just need to make this hill right here. All right, everyone. Are you guys ready? Yeah! Are you guys ready? Yeah! Great, everyone. Let's get started. First, you need to get your brown marker, everyone. Get your brown marker. So right now, this just looks like a toilet paper roll, but we're gonna make it look like a tree or something like that, okay? Everyone get your, your brown markers. Brown markers. Hey, that's black. I need some brown, okay? Hold up your brown, brown markers. Good, good. And next we're gonna get two of our toilet paper rolls and our paper towel roll, okay? We're going to draw straight lines up and down so that it looks like this. Straight lines up and down just like that with our brown marker, everyone. Just like this, we're gonna draw a line straight down like this. It doesn't have to be straight, okay? Just draw it from the top to bottom, all around your toilet paper, okay? All around your toilet paper. And around your other toilet paper roll too. So straight down, straight up and down. And as you can see, mine looks, it's not that straight, but it looks kinda like this, okay? And also your paper towel roll, you're going to do that too. Straight up and down lines. They don't have to be super straight, don't worry. You, and you, and you. Okay, something just like this. So after that, guys, you should have two toilet paper rolls with brown markings 
and you have a paper towel roll with brown markings too. This is more like a tree now, right? Let's go everyone. Next, you're going to get these two toilet paper rolls that you just put brown marker on and grab your scissors. Everyone hold up your scissors. Wow, we see some fancy scissors over there. Okay, we're gonna cut our toilet paper in half, okay? Let me show you. You're gonna cut it right in half, just like this, okay? So now you have kind of like an open toilet paper roll. You see that? Just take your time and cut straight in half, okay? Straight down the middle. And your other toilet paper roll too. You're doing the exact same thing. Get your scissors and you're gonna cut, snip, snip, so that you have half toilet paper rolls, okay? Let's open up our toilet paper a little bit. Open it up, just, just really slightly open it up. Okay? And now everyone, are you guys listening? Okay, everyone get your cup, your paper cup. Everybody grab your cup and you're going to wrap one toilet paper roll onto the cup, just like this. And you see that everyone, wow. You wrap the toilet paper roll around your cup Good, good. You guys are following along so well. Good job, good job, guys. Thank you, thank you. Everyone get your tape. Everyone get your tape. And we're going to tape these sides of the toilet paper. We're gonna tape these down. So I'm gonna get a piece of tape. And then we're going to tape the sides of the toilet paper roll. I taped one side. And now I'm gonna tape the other side. Yeah, yeah. Gonna choop. And we're gonna tape the other side. So now everyone, you should have one toilet paper roll. Take your time, take your time, take your time. One toilet paper roll around your cup. Okay everyone, I'm gonna go see how my friends are doing over here. Let's go to them. Well, friends, hello, how are we doing here? Wow, we see our friend Bear is going lightning speed. Wow, she already has one toilet paper roll wrapped around, perfectly taped. Ooh, I see some of you guys too doing that. Wow, good job, guys. Here you go. And we see Caitlin also, look at that. Look at her straight up and down lines. Good, looks really looks like a treat. And we have Jacob still taping his down, but he's doing such a fantastic job. And you guys are doing great too. Caleb's got it too. Caleb's got it too. All right, guys, let's go on to the next step. We're gonna do the exact same thing with our second paper towel roll. Sorry, everyone, that's toilet paper. Our second toilet paper roll, okay? And we're gonna wrap our toilet paper roll around the cup. And we're going to tape it again. It's okay, there's a little gap right here. But you're going to tape the toilet paper roll again. Okay? So grab some tape. And you're gonna stick it on. Sticky, sticky. Just like that. Bam! Everyone, it's fun to make sound effects when you do it. So now we're gonna get our second paper towel roll. Bam! Our second piece of tape, we're gonna tape our toilet paper just like that. And now guys, you should have a cup with two toilet paper rolls outside of the cup. Looks good guys, looks good, ooh. I see you guys, I see you guys. Great job, great job. Just like that. You have a cup with toilet paper all around your cup. Great job, great job. Everyone, now we're going to get our skewer. Get your skewer. If you guys are done, hold up your skewer for me. Wiggle around. This looks like a magic wand, right? A wand of Kadabra. Sorry guys, but you get your skewer or your toothpick and put your cup carefully down on the ground, okay? And we're gonna poke a hole 
right in the center on the bottom of the cup. Okay, everyone, the bottom of the cup. Is it the top of the cup, everyone? No. What is it? What is it? Bottom. Yeah, the bottom of the cup. Okay, we're gonna poke a hole right in the center. Just push. Ooh. And you're gonna, you know, loosen the hole a little bit. Loosen the hole. Oh, mine is too loose, but it's okay. And you should have a hole in the bottom of your cup. You don't have to make it this big. That was an accident from my part, but you just need a tiny, tiny hole, okay? Just poke a hole, make it a little bigger. You should have something like this. Can I, can I see your holes, guys? Wow, we have some beautiful, beautiful cups. You guys are doing a fantastic job, okay? Keep going, keep going. Now, everyone, we're gonna get our paper towel roll. Our paper towel roll. It should be nice and colored, right? And now we're gonna poke a hole in this one too. Everyone put your toilet paper towel roll on the ground. And we're gonna get our skewer and we're gonna poke a hole. Doesn't really matter where, just somewhere in the middle right here, not through the tape, but somewhere in the middle. We're gonna press and push. And we're gonna poke a hole into our paper towel roll. Wow, you guys are so strong. Oh my gosh. Is that Hulk right there? Ooh, good, okay, poke a hole. Let's make it a little bigger. And now everyone, you should have a paper towel roll with a hole in the center, just like that. Remember, it doesn't really matter where, just a hole in your paper towel. Great job, guys. Everyone, now, we're gonna make our serpent. Do you guys know what a serpent is? It goes and it goes. Okay, I can make a serpent with my hands, everyone. You see that? Can you guys do that too? It's okay, this is arts and crafts time, not hand motion time. So everyone, get a marker. Any kind of marker, okay, any kind of marker. What we're gonna do is we're gonna make two spirals or two or three spirals around. Let me show you guys how to do that. You're gonna get your marker and from the bottom of the cup you're just going to spin kind of diagonally your your marker around the cup. Just not too exact, not oops, not too exact. Just gonna spin around the cup diagonally. Okay? It's okay if it's not straight. And after you're done, guys, you should have a spiral marker around your toilet paper. Good, good, good. It's okay if it doesn't look like mine. Some can be more spirals, some can be less spirals. But you guys are looking good so far. Mmm, yes. After you marked a spiral around your paper towel, toilet paper roll, get your scissors, everyone. Hold up your scissors. Oh, be careful, be careful, <gasps> be careful. Okay, now we're going to cut along the spiral lines that we made. Just make it straight. It's okay if it's not that pretty, but you're gonna make your serpent. Okay, everyone, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna cut along my spiral lines. Let's go from the bottom. We're gonna snip, 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 snip. Snip. And we keep snipping. Come on, let's go. Keep cutting, keep cutting. Wow. What a workout. You guys' hands are tired, right? It's okay. You guys can do. Yeah. And cut. So everyone, now that I'm finished, I have... Boing. Boing. I have kind of like a spring, but this is your Ron Serpent, everyone. You have something like this, okay? It looks like a snake, right? It goes You have a snake. Good job, guys. Let's go see how our friends are doing with their bronze serpents, everyone. All right, everyone. Wow, it looks really good. Everyone, hold up your bronze serpents. Hold up your bronze serpents. Wow, you guys are doing such a great job too. I see some long snakes. 
I see some cute little tiny snakes, but I see so many good snakes around here. Look at Jacob's snake. Jacob's snake is so big. It's like fat, but it's cool. It's really cool. It goes good. Good job, guys. And Caitlin's still cutting out her snake. Don't worry. Take your time and never give up. Everyone, repeat after me. Never give up. Good guys, just keep going no matter what, okay? And look at our bear. Our bear has a nice, beautiful, spirally snake. Wow, what a beautiful snake. I see some of you guys doing this too. Good job, good job. And Caleb's snake is also, it's really similar to mine. Look at that. Wow, look at his snake, it's so cool. Good job guys, great job. Let's move on to the next step. I think you're ready, I think you're ready. Let's go. Are you guys ready for the next step? Let me hear you. Are you guys ready for the next step? Yes! Great job, everyone. Let's go. You're going to now get your snake and get your cup and you're gonna bam, combine them, okay? So you're gonna open your snake and wrap it around as best you can around the cup. Okay, just wrap it right around the cup. So it kind of looks like your snake is hugging the pole. Okay, I'm gonna turn my snake around, but you guys can keep going because my bottom was a little ugly. So I'm gonna go like this and just wrap your snake right around the cup. Okay, guys, and now it should look like this something like this. It doesn't have to be straight around, just just all the way around the cup. Okay, now we're gonna take our tape and we're gonna tape the bronze serpent to our cup. Everyone grab your tape and just tape along these edges, you know, anywhere is fine as long as it stays in place, okay? I'm taping the top and I'm going ahead, I'm going to tape the bottom edges too. Looks like my tape was too long. Sorry about that, guys. I'm gonna get another piece of tape. And we're going to tape the bottom of my snake. Okay, guys, I only have two pieces of tape. You can use three, you can use four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, but as long as your snake is on the cup, doesn't really matter, okay? Wow, I see some beautiful, Beautiful snakes out there. Look at you go, Hannah. I see you, Hannah. Okay, good, good. Wow, looks like Elijah's doing pretty well. Good job, guys. Let's keep going. You just taped your serpents. All right, and now everyone, what's missing from our serpents? They're blind. They have no eyes. <gasps> Let's give them some eyes, everyone. Get your googly eyes. Get your googly eyes. They're so small, it's so cute, oh my gosh. But we're gonna take our googly eyes and we're gonna tape them onto the head of our snake. Everyone, so this is kind of difficult, but take a piece of tape, the non-sticky side up, the sticky side down, and we're gonna make a loop. We're gonna put one around the other so that the sticky side is all around the outside, okay? All around the outside. We're gonna put that on the head of our serpent, just like that. Okay, everyone. And now, get your googly eyes. Oh, they're so cute and tiny. We're gonna put our googly eyes onto our head of the serpent, okay? Glue it right there, just like that. And now, your serpent is not blind anymore. It can see you. Okay, now your eyes are on the snake, on the serpent. And everyone, I'm just gonna give one little more piece of tape on top so that my eyes don't fall off. Okay, I'm just getting a piece of tape, wrapping it right over the googly eyes. Doesn't really matter how. Everyone, as you can see, my eyes will never fall off now. They're 
gonna be right sticking onto there. Everyone, show me your eyes. Wow, they're staring right at me. <gasps> okay, good job, guys. If you have your googly eyes taped, can I get a thumbs up? Yes, thumbs up. It's okay if you're still going. Take your time. Remember, never give up. Okay, I see some more thumbs up now. I'll give you about five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Good job, guys. Let's go on to the next step. So, everyone take your white piece of paper. Your white piece of paper. Everyone hold up your white. That's the brown one, come on. Get your white piece of paper, everyone. And we're gonna put it on the ground. And take your paper towel roll. And we're gonna put it in the center of our paper, okay? Center of our paper. And we're gonna get our tape, everyone. And we're gonna tape the sides so that it's in the center, okay? I'm putting four pieces of tape, one on each side, okay? So let me show you how that works. Let me just tape one side, and then I'll show you guys. I'm gonna tape one side. And everyone, do you see this? Just like this, you're gonna tape all four sides of the paper towel roll. Take your time. And thank you guys for following along so well. You guys are doing such a great job. I know this is a little hard, but you guys are doing a great job. Just keep taping, just keep taping. You're gonna keep taping each side of the paper towel roll. Take your time, take your time. So that it's nice and sticky in the center of your paper. I'm gonna add one more piece of tape. And by the end, everyone, you should have something like this with all four sides of the paper towel roll taped. Now you can like flap your paper around, right? It might be a telescope. No, it's not a telescope, sorry about that. Tape your size of the paper towel roll. Okay, everyone. Now, get your brown paper, everyone. Get your brown paper. It's okay if it's black or red. Make it a dark, dark color, because we're gonna make a hill. Okay, everyone, now everyone hold your paper just like this. So that it's flat. Oh, it's almost so thin, I can't see it. And everyone, this is the most fun part, everyone. Are you ready? Yeah! Are you guys ready? Yeah! Great, so everyone, you're gonna take your paper, and you're gonna crumple it. Only vertically, only vertically, you're gonna crumple it just like that. So your paper should still be long, a long piece of paper, but you're gonna crumple it. Crumple it. Wasn't that fun? All right, everyone, now that it's nice and crumpled, you're gonna make a circle with it. You're gonna make a circle just like that. And now you should have something that looks like this, like a crumpled circle. Good. Now everyone, we need to tape these ends so that they don't fall apart, okay? Everyone, get your tape. And we're going to tape the ends of our hill. So I have the ends right here. I'm gonna tape just so that both of them don't fall apart. I'm gonna use a second piece of tape. You can use three, four, five, anything you want, guys. Tape it right around. And the good, you should have somewhat of a bigger circle because everyone, you're gonna put it around your toilet paper roll, paper towel roll just like that. So make sure your hole is big enough. Wow, you guys, that's, that's good, that's good. That's good, nice and crumpled, nice and crumpled. And we're gonna put like a circle like this, okay? And after you've taped it around, you're gonna put it on top of your paper towel roll just like that. 
everyone, you should have something that looks like this. Your paper towel roll with the hill on top of the paper. Let's go see how our friends are doing, everyone. And I'm sure you guys are doing great too. Let's go. All right, guys. Oh, we see we're having a little trouble with our knots. That's totally fine, guys. Let's clear it out. So we get our popsicle stick. And we get one end of the yarn. And we wrap it around our popsicle stick. We're gonna make an X. And then we're gonna pull that string through the hole. One second. And we're gonna pull. So now you have one kind of like knot around your popsicle stick. And then I'm gonna do it one more time. Make an X. I'm gonna put it through the hole and pull. So now you have a nice and tight knot on your popsicle stick and you can wiggle around your popsicle stick. Yeah, yeah. You guys are getting it. You guys are getting it. Let's keep going. And we have Caitlin's beautiful popsicle stick right here. Wave it around, Caitlin. Ooh, okay, it's nice and tight. And so is Caleb's, guys. Look at that. We're having a great time over here. And this is a great job. Our bear has even managed to tie a knot. Look at how big her hands are but she still did a very, very good job. Let's move on, guys. Before we move on, I need to make one more check. Are you guys having fun? Yeah! Great, I'm having so much fun too. Everyone grab your popsicle stick. Let's move on, get your other end of the yarn. The other end. And this is kind of a tricky part, don't worry. We're gonna put our popsicle stick uh, put our yarn through the hole of your paper towel roll. So how are you going to do that? Get your skewer or the toothpick. You're going to make a few, you know, little wraps around your toilet paper, uh, around your skewer, just like that. And everyone, let me show you. You're going to stick it right inside the hole of the paper towel, just like that. And you're going to push. Push, and you're gonna push your yarn in, push your yarn, push your yarn, and keep pushing. This is a little tricky. You can always ask your parents for help, okay? Just push, 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 push. And everyone, now that I've pushed some yarn in, you see the inside of my toilet paper roll? It has some yarn, okay? And I'm gonna use my skewer. You can use your hands, you can use your toothpicks. We're gonna take that yarn out of here, just like that. And I'm gonna pull it through. So now everyone, I have my yarn inside my toilet paper roll. Bring it to the outside, just like that. It's a little tricky, I know, I know. But you guys can do it, you guys can do it. So now that it's pulled through, we're gonna make it one more time around our bronze serpent, okay? One more time, you're going from the inside of the cup to the outside. Remember, from the inside to the outside. We're gonna do our same little trick. Wrap your yarn a little around your stick. We're gonna push it from the inside to the outside, remember? From the inside to the outside. We're just gonna push that right through. So I need to retie my knot around my stick. It's okay, it's okay. And take your time, guys. Don't worry, don't worry. We'll push it through the center. Don't worry, guys. You see, I'm struggling a little. You guys, it's quite all right. I'm gonna push it through. We'll push our yarn straight through. I'm gonna pull it out, but not too much, not too much. I have around this much yarn after I pulled it through. Wow, this is hard, right? But you guys are doing such a good job. Keep going, keep going. I have about this much yarn outside my cup. And now I'm going to tape that yarn down to the bottom of my cup. Let me show you guys. 
I'm gonna get some tape. And guys, this is the hardest step, so you guys are doing such a great job. Thanks for following along. I'm gonna tape our yarn right down at the bottom of the cup. So now, I have something that looks like this. I have my yarn through the paper towel, all the way out to the inside of my cup, out to the outside. And I taped it down right here. Oh, teacher, that was so much. It's okay, guys. Let's go help out our friends, and I know it'll help you too. Wow, it looks like these guys didn't even need my help. They're doing such a great job. Wow, you guys are doing well too. Ooh, I like that, I like that. So we see Jacob beautifully put his yarn through the paper towel roll, the outside, and now we're going to put it inside the cup, okay? So I'm gonna make Jacob's hole just a little bigger because it's a little small right now. It's gonna go around and around, just a little bigger. And now, we're gonna stick this end of the paper towel, this end of the yarn, sorry, and we're gonna push it inside the cup to the outside. Good, so right to the inside, put it straight through, and we have around this much yarn on the outside. We're gonna tape that right down, okay? So Jacob, you're gonna tape your yarn just like that. Good, good. And we see Caleb over here already finished. He went lightning speed, wow. We have his cup all the way through and it's taped just like that, good, good. Our friend Bear is doing it too. And looks like Caitlin needs a little more time. It's okay guys, you guys are doing a great job. And we're gonna help Caitlin a little bit. We're going to put the yarn inside of the cup to the outside. We're gonna push, push, push. I'm gonna make Caitlin's hole a little bigger. And we're going to wrap it around, kind of tight, kind of tight. And we're gonna push it right through. Okay, oh, sorry. Let's make the hole just a little bit bigger, just a little bit bigger. Okay, now one more time. We're gonna use this side, wrap it around, and push it straight through inside to outside, just like that. Ask your parents for help. Your parents are always there to help you. And now Caitlin has done it. We're gonna tape her side down and we'll go on to the next step, everyone. Good job. So now, our last step. It's the last step, everyone. You guys are doing such a good job. It's our very last step. We need to draw the fiery serpents. These are the evil serpents, the ones that bite you and give you poison. And we're gonna draw these fiery serpents, okay? So everyone get some red marker. You can make some black marker, it doesn't really matter. And we're just gonna draw some fiery serpents around our paper. Everyone, I'm gonna give you two minutes, two, let's say three minutes actually. I'll give you three minutes to draw your fiery serpents. How many minutes, everyone? How many minutes? Three. Okay, three, two, one, start. Everyone, I'm gonna draw a red fiery serpent. I'm gonna make it kind of scary. You see this one? Wow, it's like super mean and super scary. I'm gonna make one just like that, okay? So I'm gonna use some red. You know, it doesn't have to be too fancy. And you're gonna draw. Mine kind of looks like an eel, but that's okay. I'm gonna get some black marker too. So I can color in his body red. And guys, you can use any color you want. Just make it super scary, okay? Let's go. Color it in, color it in. Color, color, color. Color. And then I'm going to draw, you know, some, some eyes, some eyes, and some teeth. Rawr. He has to have mean eyebrows. Rawr. Just like that, right? We're gonna color in our snake. Gave him some nice teeth. 
I'm gonna draw a couple spots on him. You don't need the spots though, okay. So we have around two minutes left, everyone. Two minutes, let's keep going. Let's draw another fiery serpent. Yes. I see some scary, scary serpents out there. Wow, you guys are so creative. Let's keep drawing, keep drawing. I'm gonna color mine in red. And I'm going to give him some teeth, some eyes. Take your time, everyone, take your time. Some eyes. Wow. You guys are drawing really scary serpents. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna draw, you know, just two more, two more. Drawing the snake curvy body. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna draw, I'm gonna color his body red. I see some artists out there. You guys are really good at coloring. Wow. I'm gonna keep coloring his body. And I'm gonna give him some eyebrows. Ooh, scary serpents. Everyone, you have around one minute left. One minute, you guys are doing such a great job though. Remember, this is the last step, everyone. You're doing so well, well. I'm gonna draw one last serpent. Wow. We're gonna color it in, color it in. And you have around 30 seconds left, everyone, 30 seconds. Don't worry if you're not finished. Always finish it after, it's okay. I'm gonna draw some more spots. Oh, is that 10 seconds left? <gasps> 10, nine, eight, seven, six. Everyone count down with me. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, put your markers down. Wow. You guys are drawing so, so well. Everyone hold up your bronze serpent. Hold up your bronze serpent. And guys, you're finished! Everyone give yourselves a round of applause. Woo, clap for yourselves. This was so difficult, right? But you guys did it. Okay, everyone, you made some beautiful bronze serpents. And now if you hold the bottom and you pull, your bronze serpent reaches the top of the pole. We're gonna listen to the bronze serpent story today, everyone. So I hope you're ready for that. But this is all we have time for today in Arts and Crafts. I hope you guys had fun. I had such a great time too. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.